late actor Michael Landon was driving home one Friday afternoon on the Los Angeles freeway. It was a very hot day. Traffic was horrendous. Horns were blaring, tempers were flaring, and people were hurling insult, insults at one another from open car windows. Landon asked himself, why is there so much anger everywhere? Why do people hate one another so much? Why is so much energy wasted on rage? What would happen if we'd expend that energy on kindness rather than on rage? His mind went back to his own childhood and the anger that often raged between his Catholic mother and Jewish father. Suddenly a thought flashed across his mind. Why couldn't there be a TV series dedicated to the idea that kindness, not anger, is the real answer to life's problems? In that moment he conceived the idea for the television show entitled Highway to Heaven. Remember that one? Well, the point of each episode of Highway to Heaven is the same point that Jesus makes in his Sermon on the Mount, from which today's gospel is taken. Jesus urged people to show kindness to one another, even to the point of turning the other cheek when someone treated them unkindly. Warning those who treated others with anger Jesus says in today's gospel, you have heard that it was said, whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Jesus himself lived this message, showing kindness to sinners, showing compassion to the sick, and showing mercy to his enemies. Kindness blesses the person to whom we are kind, but it also blesses us. Michael Landon makes this point in that same article uh, in the magazine Guidepost, in which he tells how he got the idea for the TV series Highway to Heaven. He describes an episode that happened when he was 19 years old. He'd just been paid $260 for his first acting job on TV, a show called John Nesbitt's Passing Parade. He says, I felt so rich and famous that I decided to go to Beverly Hills where I almost never went and look at the fancy store windows. At a toy store, he, store, he saw a couple of little boys with their noses pressed against the window, looking at the toys inside. Landon asked the boys which of the toys they liked best. One boy pointed excitedly to a wagon. The other pointed to a model airplane. Landon then took the boys inside the store and bought the toys for them. The kids were out of their minds with joy. But what a surprise, the 19-year-old Landon was most thrilled at. It was that he, what he got from that act of kindness. He says, it was deeper and more satisfying than anything I had experienced before, and more lasting, as you can see, here I am telling you about it 30 years later. This brings us to an even more important point about kindness. It not, not only brings happiness to those involved, but it can even work miracles. One of the shows in Highway to Heaven, the series, dealt with child cancer victims. Landon and his staff got the idea to have real-life victims play the parts. 
One victim was a boy named Josh Wood. His case was especially tragic because he had already lost a leg to cancer. But what bothered little Josh even more was the fact that he had a speech impediment that caused him to stammer badly. People avoided talking to him. And that made that, and the more they avoided talking to him, the more he stammered. Landon surprised everybody by asking Josh to audition for one of the parts, saying to the boy, listen, the important thing about acting is to be a good actor. If you stammer, that's okay. You're a good, just a good actor who stammers. To everyone's amazement, when the boy read for the part, the stammering disappeared. Two years later, Josh's cancer was in remission, and his stammering has never come back to Josh Wood. Josh Wood is an example of the tremendous power that kindness has. He's a living example of the tremendous power that is contained in a little assurance, a little affirmation. He's a living example of how kindness can work miracles. Our readings today invite us to take a look at our own lives and ask ourselves the question, how much kindness is present in them? They invite us to take a look at our own lives and our manner of loving and to ask ourselves how they compare to the life and the love of Jesus Christ. They invite us to take a look at our own lives, to ask ourselves what would happen if we took the energy we expend on anger and expand, expended it on kindness. How would our lives and the lives of those around us change and become happier? What miracle might even result if we took seriously Jesus' teaching in the Sermon on the Mount? In the final analysis, kindness is a power greater than nuclear power itself. And it's not a, a resource of just a single nation or a single person. It's a resource that is at the disposal of every person in every nation, no matter how insignificant or how poor. And what's more, our supply of kindness is unlimited. The more we give it, the more there is to give. And that's because God is good all the time. You're getting tired of this God is good thing? Okay. <laughs> 